Secrets in the new Hacker Base RP house. Okay, this is gonna be absolutely crazy. So if you haven't already, hit the like button. If you love secrets and Brookhaven, hit the like button, guys. One like means you love secrets. If you don't like secrets and Brookhaven, then I guess you don't gotta hit the like button. But the, yeah, crush it if you like secrets. So right away, you're probably noticing. Oh my god, dude, there's a ladder there. I wonder if I can actually climb that ladder from here, dude. I feel like there is a possibility, and that possibility is telling me I can. So let's let's try to climb the ladder okay oh no okay we're gonna need this to be oh my god what is going on with my what is what is that okay so come up here let's see dude i'm, I'm just uh, joking around at this point dude all right let's try that one that one's pretty that's pretty good let's try that i don't even know if i can jump up there i don't think i can now it's too high would you look at that dude okay let's try that Okay, so then there's a ladder. Dude, I'm trying to c grab this ladder. I know it's possible. I know it's possible, guys. This ladder actually goes... Okay, I don't know if it is possible. But anyways, guys, as I was saying, that ladder there actually connects to the ladder that allows you to come down from outside. So remember, guys, in the Hacker RP set, this is the entrance from the outside. Basically, your front door to getting your top secret hacking base. You just come down over here, and then boom, and of course, you have the garage button that you can press there to get your cars down in there, all the cars that you steal or you hack. You know, you can hack Teslas, dude. They're full electric vehicles. They're easy to hack into. I mean, it is almost scary. So yeah, you can hack into anybody's Teslas, bring them right to your hacking base. <laughs> you can actually drive them while at your hacking base on your computer to your base it, it's a chico but that be the case i am also underneath the map here right now and you might be like whoa dude how did you get down there look at that i'm down there but we're up here how does that happen well it's actually very easy to do guys all you do is come over here and you just hop up here from down in the hacking base so once we go down here we're in here the top secret hacking base and you just jump up here um kind of like so and then you just jump up here and then you jump right up there and you're in just like that easy i used to th I, I know when i first started i thought you needed a ladder but you don't so it's pretty simple right so we could just drop back down here now in order to get in this room which is the cool glorious room the ultimate top peak hacker the better than ever he's the best hacker around who is he all right so let's go ahead and we can Oh, crazy. All right, so yeah, now we can turn that off. We can get sit down and hack, hack 10 million YouTube subscribers. Thank you. Coming soon. Right now. D delivery. Uh, yeah, they're probably not happening. But uh, that be the case, though, you just need this key card here. This key card here will grant you access to your secret room, and you can go in and out. You can get done taking a poop and go straight to your hacking ways. This is kind of great. You know, if you're sitting here a lot, you could just go right out and do what you need to do. But if that isn't good enough, well, let's get on into the other hacking room. Oh, also, I should probably know on where you find this key card. You come right over here, and it's just on the desk. You know, I would assume that the key card would be really, really well hidden, but it is not. And that is not something we can complain about. So, yeah, easy key card find there. Um, what else is stuff you could do in the actual hacker room? What is pressable? What can you do that's secretive? Well, I'm going to show something in a second um, that I forgot to include in other videos. So, yeah, we got Brookhaven TV here. Let's, uh, let's go flip through the channel. Cops, no, get them out of here. We don't want no cops. Most wanted live. Not bad. We're probably on there secretly. So, once we do that, though... If you come over here and see the microwave, yeah, there's something behind the microwave. But if we press this little button here, it turns the microwave on fire. So, yeah, you could turn the microwave on fire by pressing that button. So, I don't know why this is a feature. I don't know why it's there. Maybe you overcook your food, then boom, your microwave catches on fire, right? So, yeah, this thing is fully functional. You could turn it on and off. You can even instill in it the grandness of food. Um, so, yeah, we can put our food in there and then close it and then microwave it. And then it could be like, oh my god, dude, I was too busy hacking, and now my food's on fire! So yeah, you can do that. And then your fridge is your typical fridge, not new there, it, the MTV fridge, yeah. Okay, so yeah, pretty normal fridge, nothing too unusual. You got your bunk beds up here. Um, there's nothing there, they're just beds. Uh, that's, well, actually, I, is it down here? Oh yeah, it is. We can go inside the wall here. So there's actually multiple places alongside this wall that you can kind of go in, um, which is kind of interesting. And the microwave... Oh my god, dude. The microwave's still on. Turn, 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 yeah, turn, turn off. Thank you, dude. That is so loud. I don't like you. All right, so yeah, there's actually multiple places that you can go into the wall. Uh, but for the sake of this, we'll jump up to this one because it's up on the floor ahead of time. So 
once you're in here, you're going to be met with a maze unlike any other. Yes. Uh, and then in one of these corners, there is a button that you can press. Which corner it is is a good question. I don't quite know. Oh, it's over here. Okay, so if we come here and we press this, it opens up a secret room. Look at that. It closed it. Now, if we come in here, we go all the way to the end. And then we have our safe location, which is kind of in the midst of the maze. So hopefully that helped you guys there. But remember, there's another secret button here that opens it, and you can leave just as simple as you went in. So yeah. And then the reason why this is green, if you're wondering, like, why is that green? I, I've always questioned that. Um, the reason why that is green is because it tells you where there isn't a dead end, and you can go through it. That's why it's green. So yeah. If we look at the flooring and everything else in this hacker room, you might be asking a question. What are these little buttons on the side of the wall? Those are just lights that look like buttons that we normally would press. Uh, we do got a Coke vending machine here that is workable. You can, it does work. You can get Coke from it. So that's pretty cool too. Um, we got all the computers. Uh, we can't really turn these on or do anything with the computer. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you can't really change the screen. There isn't no buttons. There's access granted one here. But it doesn't do anything either. So, yeah, sometimes you get buttons to launch missiles or do various things. But, uh, oh, you can pick this up. Ha! Huh. What do you know? You can pick up that paper. Um, and then you have a couple file cabinets. And that is the gist of that. So, I believe that might have been the majority of everything that we found into the hacker base. Now, of course, if you guys find something we did not, make sure to let me know. Um, so yeah, now the question is, can you glitch anything? Why is it dying, dude? dude? What is wrong with you? Um, now the next question might be, can you glitch vehicles in any way in the hacker base? Well, it's going to be incredibly hard to glitch your vehicles in this hacker base uh, down below. But you could try to do some stuff to see if it'll glitch your vehicle. One way that you could probably do it is go here and remove these. Remove the tires. And then do this, and then jump out, and it should fall right down there, maybe. Let's see, did it fall down there? Oh, it just fell all the way through. It Wait, did it fall in here? Dude, that would have been something. Um, also, you can, uh, by clicking on the curtains, this is a big note, change this so you can look up or down while you're down here. Like right now, it's clear, but we can use our curtains, and it will black it out. In case someone, you know, the, 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 the cops, the cops come down, they can't see you down there anyways, honestly. But yeah, so there's that. That's pretty cool. Now on to some other things. There's minor bug fixes in this update. I haven't really found them yet, but if I find anything that has changed that's very subtle, I'll be sure to let you guys know as well. But we do have willies. Now, willies are new things that you could do on the motorcycles and stuff in Brookhaven. You cannot do these on these vehicles here, aka the bikes, which is kind of weird. You would think BMX bike, you would be able to do a willie or something, but you cannot. However, you can do willies on this by clicking here and clicking this. Now, I thought it was important to include in this video some details about the wheelie. The wheelies operate and function a lot better if you're on lower speeds. Now, obviously, if your speed is like 200, you're not really going to have a lot of good luck with the wheelies as it's just going to be kind of like a little bit chaotic, right? So let's see. We got 200 speed. And as you can tell, we're picking up speed, yes, but it still is not how it should be, right? We can even put turbo on this thing, too. But um, yeah, so it, it's a little bit hard to do at 200 and you just kind of spin out and you don't really have a lot of luck. So I don't recommend being on 200 speed with the willies, but this does work for all bikes. Okay, so that is something kind of to note there. See, boom, puts us in a willy stance. Now there is no way to do a stoppy yet, but the fact we could do this is so cool. And honestly, dude, this is something that we were missing. I'm not going to lie. We were definitely missing the availability to be able to do willies. Now, I should also note on the premium ATV, you can do it as well. Um, so that's just kind of fun too. Uh, I was really happy to see that even the ATVs got this update and it wasn't just the motorcycles. But yeah, you can flip that a lot easy if you go on two wheels. So be careful with the ATV and don't flip it. So yeah, obviously the best one that's... Oh, I, let's actually try it with the police bike, actually. Can you imagine a police officer chasing you and he just pops a willy out of nowhere like, I'm on my way to capture you, you villainous villain creep. And then boom, look at that. That 360 donut there, dude. Are you kidding me? I got skills like any other, dude. Um, but yeah, so 
that's kind of like a rundown of all the secrets we know right now in this, guys. If I missed something, please do let me know in the comment section below or if you have found a secret that was not included in this video. And uh, we might just use your comment for another video. So yeah, with that aside, love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one.